Branding your business is important to overall success. And even without a national brand budget, you can successfully create a brand in your consumer's mind. It's not that hard if you understand the difference between relationship messaging and transactional messaging. We've all heard and seen transactional messaging. It's the use of coupons and incentives to get consumers to buy now. This is an effective way to get your brand out there initially, but your company can become associated with the sale, and ultimately it can lead to short-term relationships where customers buy solely on price. One recent example of this is JCPenney, where its strategy was overly focused on transactional messaging, which led to declining sales and profits. On the other end of the spectrum is relationship messaging, which builds the awareness of your brand over time and lays the foundation for repeat business. When you focus on the customer and their experience, it results in higher profit margins and growing returns. Customer loyalty is achieved through this type of messaging and is crucial to the long-term success of any business. Each type of messaging has its place in a successful marketing strategy. The trick is knowing how to reach the proper balance between generating quick sales with promotions and still building brand loyalty. One example of the perfect balance of both relationship and transactional messaging is Starbucks. The company routinely offers promotions, but its marketing primarily focuses on their quality brand and the value the product brings to their customers. The result is a loyal customer base, even when competing products are priced much lower. When done correctly, branding can be a powerful tool for the success of your business. For more information or to subscribe to our Marketing Insights series, go to www.coxmedia.com.